Hi, it's me again, Micah. This is Wellspring, week 13. If you're following along online, you would see that this week's title has the idea of prepared in advance for you, describing the good works that God has prepared in advance that we can walk in them from Ephesians 2.10. Going to take a couple steps back from that and there's the description in Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 10, about what God has done for us, what he has accomplished for us. It's a great salvation. Thankfulness and having a heart of gratitude in Scripture is flowing from our having been rescued, our having been saved. Ephesians 2 gives a beautiful picture of that, and the picture is actually having been saved from death. We were dead in our transgressions and our sins, and he saved us. As we look at the rest of Ephesians, we see that it's not because of anything that we have done, but it's because of God's will, his compassion, his mercy, his grace that he has done these things. So he takes us from the place of death and puts us in this beautiful place of rescue. Walking through that section of Ephesians 1, Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 10, we come to a place, and verse 10 has been a, a precious passage to me for a long time because as low as we might get, we get to a beautiful place where we can see wherever we are, God still has a, a hand on us. God is still for us. This idea of us being saved, not because of anything that we have done, is the idea of our justification, our having been made righteous before God based on the righteousness of Christ. So living in a place, knowing that God is for us, we move ourselves and we work to do the things Christ has called us to do. Now this working that we're doing, again, it's because God's for us. It's not to make God for us. It's not to earn anything, but it's out of love and respect, love and thankfulness, love and gratitude that we'd be pursuing these things, and that is following Christ Jesus. So Ephesians 2.10, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared in advance for us to walk in them. You are, you are loving Christ, you love him as the prophet, the one who speaks the words of life, the one who shows us the way of the Father. You who love him as the priest, the one who laid his life down for you. You who love him as king. These are all the words that mean Christ. Prophet, priest, and king. You who know him and love him in these ways, God is for you. You are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. That word workmanship is poema. You are his poem. You are his artwork, having been especially designed for good works in Christ Jesus, prepared in advance for you to walk in them. Now, these good works, they're glorious. These good works, they're heavenly. They're beautiful. Jesus made the statement in Luke 9, 23, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now Christ showed us what this looks like. If you look online, the Isaiah 61, 1 through 3 is listed there. We see the works of Christ and rescuing the needy, saving the oppressed, in Psalm 146, verses 7 through 9, if you would 
look that up and read that as well, you see more of the godly, compassionate work of Christ Jesus that we're called to walk in. There's a place in the, the book of James where it says, true and undefiled religion in the sight of God is this, to care for the orphan and the widow in their distress, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. We can look and see that all of this is work of Christ. And if you have a heart to call on Christ, this is his work in you too. When you were dead in your transgression and in your sin, God showed his love for you in sending his one and only son to die for you. So I invite you to this place of gratitude, a place of thankfulness, a place of coming alongside Christ Jesus and continuing his good work that he prepared in advance for you to walk in it. This is Wellspring Week 13. May God bless you.